I'm Ezra Johnson. I moved to Tampa from New York in 2013. I live on the Hillsborough River, this dark, spooky, beautiful river that's filled with alligators and manatees and beautiful birds and also tons of trash. And one day I thought, I'll just try to paint it. I'll get a bunch of trash and I'll set it up like a classical still life. I've set up this tiny studio, which I love, in the middle of Tampa jungle and on the river in an overgrown corner of my yard. In New York, my studios were always in industrial spaces, in industrial neighborhoods, so this studio is really small and kind of um, concentrated. I've always loved still life painting. Uh, I've been influenced by Van Gogh's still life, Cezanne's still lifes, especially Mirandi's still lifes. And I've always loved the pop artists like Warhol and Oldenburg and Lichtenstein. I like the way the still life format lets me isolate colors throughout the, the field of the painting. Formally, I get really excited about that. I'm fascinated by the pop colors on the packaging and the iconic power of brand recognition. It's the opposite of mystery. But by painting them, I might be adding some kind of poetry to these objects. When I was in grad school in New York, I did a series of sculptural objects um, that I would paint and uh, make out of wood. And they depicted just common products like, um, I don't know, packets of candy or sodas, or I did a Pepto-Bismol. Uh, I was really attracted to the pink um, beer bottles, just the most common kinds of things. And so I got excited about this project because it sort of tied back to that, which was from, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. This originated with me cleaning up the river, but then arranging and using the objects. So in some weird way, kind of recycling. Um, and the great thing is they just keep washing up. So I have this constant supply of subjects for my painting. It's funny, it's like the Ezra Johnson recycling program. Rauschenberg said, if he couldn't find anything to paint by walking around his block, he was allowed to walk one other block, and that was it. The river has been sort of a conveyor belt of subject matter for me.